Hello all. This video demonstrates Internet of Things by controlling ESP8266 module from anywhere in the world. For internet connection, I am using Huawei 8221 Power 5 dongle with a BSNL data SIM. This Huawei dongle is Wi Fi enabled and can connect up to 10 devices over Wi Fi. Further, this dongle has port forwarding ability, so there is no need of an external router like uh, TP Link. I am plugging the dongle to a laptop and to the same laptop ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is connected. For connecting ESP8266, one USB to TTL converter is used. The ESP module is joined to Huawei dongle over Wi-Fi. First let us see how to configure ESP8266 module and start a server on it. Here you can see the BSNL SIM logged onto Huawei dongle providing the internet connection. The USB to TTL converter connected to laptop will be assigned a port number. To know the port number open device manager and under ports note the COM port allotted it's COM48. Open PuTTY terminal and then select serial. Feed in the COM port COM48 and then the baud rate should be 9600. For better appearance. I am changing the font size to 14. Now click open and then type in AT. The ESP module will respond with an OK. To know the surrounding access points, use the command AT plus CW LAP. LAP stands for list access points. All APs surrounding to ESP will be displayed as Hawaii is Wi-Fi enabled. Here we see the Hawaii SSID. This is to be joined to ESP module over Wi-Fi. To join, type in AT plus CW JAP equal to SSID followed by the password of the SSID. CW join AP. You can just copy the SSID and then paste it followed by the password of the SSID. The ESP module will confirm with OK as it joins Hawaii dongle. AT plus CW JAP and a question mark will now return the SSID confirming the connection. Question mark is always used as a query. Before starting a server on ESP, enable multiple connections using AT plus CAP max equal to 1. Without this AT command, you cannot start a server. Now let us start a server on port 333 using command at plus cip server equal to 1 comma 333 a server is started on port 333 the selection of port number is random you can select any port within 65536 standard ports like 80 that is allotted to http and 21 allotted to telnet and other resort ports cannot be used to know the ip address Type in AT plus CA FSR. AT plus CA FSR will return two IP addresses. One is the access point IP and the second one is the station IP. Note the station IP. Here it is 192.168.8.100. We now have to uh, port forward to this IP. For port forward setting, open the Hawaii configuration window by typing the gateway IP address 192.168.8.1. This is the IP address of Hawaii dongle. To know the gateway IP address, you can type in CMD under Windows search and then use the command ipconfig space 
forward slash all the default gateway address is the IP address of the Hawaii dongle that is a gateway router we are using for internet connection here login using the username and password of Hawaii dongle Now click on security on left pane and then click virtual server. On the right hand pane click on add button. Fill in the virtual server list. You can provide a name as ESP. WAN port is 333. LAN IP is 192.168.8.100. LAN port is also 333 protocol is TCP status is on and then click on apply now port forwarding rule is applied next is to set an inbound rule on Windows firewall setting type in Windows firewall in Windows search and then open Windows firewall with advanced settings Now click on inbound rules and then on right click uh, click on inbound rules and then on right pen click on new rule. Select rule type as port and then select TCP and then specify the local port as 333. click on next and then select allow connection and apply to all that is domain private and then public and provide a name and then click on finish now to check whether the port 333 is uh, accessible from outside world we shall use an online tool network tool you get signal open the browser and uh, type in you get signal this is the online network tool to check the uh, yeah, port open or not select port forwarding tester your external IP will be automatically displayed feed in the port number as uh, 333 and click on check you can see the status as port 333 is open now unless you see this open status you can't communicate from external world if you do not see open here you check the windows uh, firewall settings and then the server settings on ESP This is the external IP address of the PC where ESP is connected. ESP can be contacted from external world only through this IP address. Now watch the ESP putty window as I connect from uh, another PC with a different internet connection. This is the IP address of another PC. Putty is started on that PC and the connection type is selected as raw. The IP address of ESP PC is typed in and the port number is entered as 333 where we started a server on ESP earlier when open button is clicked you can see connect status on ESP putty window zero connect means connection established on channel zero type in some characters on distant PC window you will receive it on ESP we have received nine characters on channel zero to send characters from ESP, use the AT command AT plus CIP send equal to 0, that is the channel number, and the number of characters, say 20 characters. 
80 plus CIP send equal to 0 comma 20 and a greater than symbol appears and ESP waits for you to type in 20 characters when you finish typing 20 characters the distant PC putty window will receive all the characters sent from ESP thus two-way communication is established through IOT and ESP can be controlled from anywhere in the world thank you for watching